This video introduces the 2013 tooling enhancements. The focus this release was on providing tools that increase speed and productivity. Some of the behind the scenes performance enhancements are inserts now make use of multibody for greater performance and efficiency. The capacity for plastic part derive is enhanced by using reduced memory mode. A change to the update function lets you independently update the core cavity features without updating the whole mold design for increased productivity. Error reporting for core cavity creation has also been improved. Here are some of the other user interface enhancements. The delete option is supported in the context menu of both create patching surface and create runoff surface. If the source plastic part contains color coded face information, the color style of the source part is inherited when you place the plastic part. A new addition to the workpiece pocket command lets you machine the core cavity directly into the AB plates. Click the drop down and select Merge Core and Cavity into Mold Base Plates. A new option in the plastic part workflow lets you create complex patching and runoff surfaces in the source model and include them when you derive the part. An Expand section is added to the Mold Process Settings dialog to specify the settings of a virtual sprue. With the virtual sprue, you can perform a mold fill analysis without creating a mold base or an actual sprue. A new option in the Part Shrinkage dialog box lets you specify the UCS to use as the reference center to calculate the part shrinkage. Greater flexibility is provided in setting the sprue bushing location. You can locate the sprue on a runner sketch and then specify a ratio. The ratio value adjusts the position along the selected sketch. If you select a sketch point or an endpoint, ratio is not available.